Hey guys, so Apple has released yet another version of iOS 15.2 RC. Apple has just released iOS 15.2 RC 2 or revised version. Now this has happened before where Apple had to release two versions of the RC or release candidate before the official release. So this further confirms that Apple is looking to release iOS 15.2 within the next couple of days. We'll go over some of the latest details within the latest updates in iOS 15.2. As always, you guys already know if you'd like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, make sure to subscribe and of course turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now iOS 15.2 RC was released just a few days back and Apple has now released a revised version of the software and of course I wanted to go over some quick details here because number one Apple has only updated iOS and macOS so macOS 12.1 RC 2 is now available for the Mac and iOS 15.2 RC 2 is now available for iOS. Now iPadOS did not receive the revised version, neither did a watchOS and neither did tvOS. By the way, tvOS is now currently in RC as well. Now let's take a look here at the latest build number because there is some changes here happening. This software came in at approximately 300 to 400 megabytes give or take on your device. Now there's a few things to note. Let's take a look at the build number here quickly number one the bill number has changed and number two this is actually out only for iPhone 13 models so iPhone 13 mini iPhone 13 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max in the latest bill number for iOS 15.2 is going to be 19 C 5, 7. If we take a look at the previous build number here, comparing uh, 56 instead of 57. So today we have one number change here in the build number. So definitely Apple patching something last minute. Again, further confirming that iOS 15.2 will soon be releasing here to the general public. Now, if you have another iPhone, like an iPhone 10, an iPhone 8, iPhone 11, iPhone 12, if I go here into general and then I go into software updates, I get this error message here, unable to check for software updates. I am connected to Wi-Fi and everything is connected. For some reason, the software is only out for iPhone 13 lineup. Now, if that changes later throughout the day, of course, make sure you read the video description down below. I'll update you guys there, but as of right now, this is only available for iPhone 13 models. Again, from iPhone 13 mini to 13, 13 Pro, and 13 Pro Max. Obviously, this is going to be a minor under the hood change that Apple has added last minute again, further confirming that this software will most likely be released next week on the week of the 13th of December, right in time before the holiday break, which should be a home run. This is gonna be perfect for many users. Of course, stay tuned for my full review on iOS 15.2, just letting you guys know the latest information in regards to iOS as per usual. Thank you for watching. Have a great weekend, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.